safety device was found yesterday two blocks from her home. Tonight, we'll tell you what the experts think about those safety devices. Still no leads for investigators. Earlier today, they searched the Bush Wildlife Area. That's where the body of Angie Houseman was found last weekend. We'll also have a look at what parents and children can do to try and help protect themselves from would-be abductors. It's all coming up tonight at 9 on St. Louis 11 News. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Burns, all live in the St. Louis 11 Newsroom. Desperation setting in tonight for the people trying to find a missing 10-year-old girl. We have the latest on tonight's search. Plus, we'll show you exactly how children are kidnapped. You'll be shocked at how easily it's done. And we'll show you why parents aren't leaving their kids walk around the neighborhood anymore. We have team coverage of the second child abduction in two weeks, both very close to each other. Plus, the world's most wanted drug lord dies in a dramatic shootout. Details of these stories and more tonight at 9 on St. Louis 11 News. Good evening, I'm Carol Caswell, live in the St. Louis 11 Newsroom. Coming up tonight at 9 o'clock, we'll update you on the search for Cassidy Center, the second kidnap victim from our area in recent weeks. We'll profile what kind of person might be driven to these types of crimes. Cassidy was armed with a personal attack alarm. We'll explore how effective these devices really are. That's all tonight at 9, right here on St. Louis 11 News.